temps are dropping down. It's minus 20. We got a little bit more snow, which is good because I'll be able to do that test. The cabin definitely will be cooled down in the next day or two, and I will try that wood-burning stove without the air intake hooked up to it. So this pack was in the background of a video I did recently. I can't remember what, what video that was, but I got a couple comments on it, and I got some messages asking what it was and how it's set up. So I figure I'll do a quick video today on this pack, what I use it for, and what's inside it. I'm never gonna get into hunting on this channel, but I'll get into some of the gear I use, uh, some of the stuff that's in my packs. This guy's been dedicated to hunting, and it is a sling pack. So what I've been doing over the years is kind of refining all my packs. I'm trying to make my packs um, ready to go. So I'm not swapping stuff out. I mean, you can't double or triple everything. I get that, but this is my hunting pack, so it's got just hunting-related stuff in it. So I am, and some hiking stuff. So I'm trying to keep it all in the pack. So when I grab it, I have everything I need, and I go. Um, I've been out hiking and hunting and got out there and I'm missing something. Um, whatever, it could be anything. It could be snacks, it could be a water bottle. Um, actually, it hasn't been a water bottle, but stuff like that. So I'm just trying to, trying to refine these things and make it work for me. And I don't need anything bigger or smaller. This has got all the stuff in it that I need. And I, and I think a lot of times if you go bigger, you're end, you end up taking a ton of stuff maybe you don't need. So this is how I set this one up. Uh, let's dig at it here and I'll show you what I got. So this guy does have room for a water bladder. Uh, I think it'll carry about two liters. You have zippers on the back here. Uh, this is the back. And they open up about six inches and you can slide your bladder in there. And then from there, they have a hole that you can feed the tube through, the straw and you can hook that up however you want. On the back I have a, I don't know what this pouch is, it's a surplus pouch. I think it's a smoke grenade pouch to tell you the truth. Um, I don't have any smoke grenades in there, but what I do have in there is a, I can get it out. I've got an old Garmin in there. And this is an old one, and it's still working perfect. Um, I don't know how many years this is, I've had this, but this is an old E-Trex uh, Venture HC and it's a Garmin. And I've got a lanyard attached to it. On either side of the sling bag, you have pockets. This one I have uh, with a water bottle in it. And it's all molly webbing. And above it's molly webbing as well. And that's how I have this pouch hooked up to it. And on the front, you have more molly webbing. On this guy, I have my Mora knife and it's upside down. And I'll show you why I have it that way. And it's set up with the molly webbing option, which is cool. That's why I love this knife. On the other side, I have just hooked with, there's a grab handle above here. I just hooked up my binos to that, just so I don't forget not to take them. And this side, I have my shooting sticks. Uh, I guess we'll start pulling this apart. On either side of the bag, to cinch everything closed, you have these buckles, which are awesome. And I just hooked up my bear spray there. That will go on my belt. And there's my shooting sticks. And this guy, again, molly webbing on the full length of the sides. And on this side I have, you know what this is. This is a Leatherman Mutt, and this thing has been awesome. I love the Leatherman stuff. Um, I had a small one, but it was stolen. Somebody broke into my truck. Uh, I gotta replace that one, but this one's great. It's always on this pack. So that's kind of what the, the pack looks like on the outside. And again, two slots for water bottles or whatever. And the, the actual shoulder strap on the Hazard 4 is all, it has molly webbing as well, so you can really hook a lot of stuff up to it if you want. And I was thinking of putting my, well, I'll show you that in a second. So there, that's kind of the setup on the outside, pretty basic stuff. And again, I'll hang stuff off it that I'm gonna take with me just so I don't forget uh, to bring it. So let's open this guy up and we'll take a look inside. Okay, on the top half of the back section, you've got a small pouch and it is about five inches by five inches, inches and it'll go about an inch and a half deep. And it's got a uh, loop so you can hook on uh, Velcro morale patches. Um, this is what I got on there now. I change it out sometimes. And below it, it has a, another storage pouch on the back. It's bigger. And it has uh, molly webbing on it. And width-wise, it's about six inches wide by, I don't know, about 10 inches tall. It's a little bit squished right now. And I've got the Mora knife on there. I did a review on that knife not long ago. I'll put a link in the description for that. It's an awesome knife, I'm loving it. I have it upside down here and I'll show you why in a second. Okay, let's take a look at this top pocket. I guess I'll start dumping everything out here. I have my calls. I've got elk calls, deer calls, whatever call I'm gonna use for hunting. 
All right, let's take a look at the large outer pouch now and see what's inside. Again, you got Molly webbing on here. Whoa. Uh, I got an extra pair of gloves. I have my Bark River. This, I did a review on this a while ago. I'll put a link in the description. This is an awesome knife. This is one of my favorites, favorite all-time knives for sure. I quarter big game with this. This thing is awesome. Uh, this is some jerky. I got some snacks in here. This is mule deer jerky that I got with my bow two years ago. And I'm still eating and I got a ton of jerky. You know, some snacks, whatever. If I'm shooting or hunting with the rifle, I have some extra earplugs. I always seem to lose these or forget or whatever. Um, more snacks. I got some hot pockets here, you know, the ones that you put in your gloves, but I've never used them. And also in here, I have an extra pair of batteries. There's some double A's there for the Garmin GPS. It's not a huge pocket, but again, it goes probably stuff at full, about an inch and a half, two inches deep. Okay. All right, let's go to the main compartment. Actually double zips on all these pouches, which is nice. So you can open up just a side if you need to or whatever. On this guy here at the, at the top, I have, let's just pull this open. But before I do that, so these straps, of course, hold that together. So if this thing is bursting at the seams, you've got it stuffed so full, all this pressure isn't on the zipper. You can cinch these guys down on that half and it's attached to the bottom half. So it's not, you know, not killing the zipper. So that's a good idea. So let's open it right up. So I can just peel this right open. But if I don't want to peel it right open, I can access this top panel really quickly and it has my first aid in it. There's my first aid kit, and my first aid kit has a fire starting kit in it and the usual first aid goodness. Uh, I have an awesome little fire kit here. Um, I don't need to open it. Anyway, it's in there. So first aid, another you know thing that you might have to get at really quick is some toilet paper. I have my first aid kit up here along with my toilet paper emergency stuff and this, this is a one-handed tourniquet. I carry this wherever I go as far as hiking and of course bow hunting. It's a must have, I think. And you can do this with one hand. So if one arm is ripped off by a grizzly bear or something, you can take care of it with that. And I've got a cheesy little headlamp here. There's a separating piece of uh, material here that you can Velcro anywhere you want to divide this how you want. And I guess you could probably add different stuff to it to compartmentalize this thing. Anyway, I've got a uh, uh, water filtration system here. This is ultra light, it's about six ounces. Um, what else? I've, I got my game bag here for quartering out game, um, my tags, my license tags and all that stuff. And I've got some rubber gloves, hand sanitizer in there. Pretty much that's the whole bag's contents. Um, and I'm gonna show you right now what I'm using for binoculars, how I'm setting them up. And that's pretty much the only problem that I'm having with this guy is how to, yeah, it's not a huge problem. I'm just gonna change it up and I'll show you that here in a second. So again, it's a sling pack, hazard four. So it's just the one sling. So if you're loading this up with a ton of weight, it's not that great. Obviously a regular backpack with two shoulder straps is gonna be more comfortable, but this thing doesn't weigh a lot. Not the way I carry it, if it was full of rocks, it would be a pain. Again, it's easy to access stuff in the pack, which is what I like, compared to a regular knapsack or whatever that you have to take off, unzip, get whatever you need out. This one just kind of rolls around to the front of my body and I can access stuff without taking it off, or I can just flick it off, it's really easy. This also has a kind of a waist strap. If I can get it off here, I don't really use it, so it's kind of tucked away. So that's it there. And basically that goes around your body and you can hook it on to one of these loops here, like that, and that helps keep it in position. I don't use it. So this is that little strap I was talking about. Basically it hooks onto one of these loops depending on how you have it set up and it just holds it from riding up. So this is the beauty of the bag, I think anyway, that I can swing it around and I can get at stuff that I need here without taking it off. So if I have whatever I need to get at, I can get at the main compartment. The zipper's here, I can undo it. I can get at these guys, of course, easily. So that's kind of the beauty of the sling pack. It's this way because I'm right-handed and that's it's ready to go. So I can get at it really quick and it's right there. So that's why it's upside down. I don't know if that interests anyone, but it's kind of cool. That's how I set it up. I can get at my beef jerky or my deer jerky and my water bottle's right here too. A lot of times if you have a big knapsack on, it's hard to get at that water bottle. This one's right here, ready to go. So that's pretty awesome. But because it's a sling pack, they actually go on my chest here and they go over top. So it's a bit of a pain with this strap on. Even when it's low, it's kind of pinning the strap back. It's just kind of a pain. Plus I have to put it on again. So I have these layers of crap that I put it on. So I think what I'm gonna do with this, again, that's the only issue I have, is, is set up a probably a different kind of bino case and just set it up with some molly straps and just leave it there so I can get it out. And it's also attached to this pack. So it's not a kind of a secondary thing I have to put on or put over. So that's the only issue with it. This works great with my backpack, 
but with this guy, it's kind of a, it just gets tangled up and it's a bit of a pain. So that's what I'll do. I'll stick it over here and it should be good to go.